So after a month of only being able to shoot outside, we're now finally back to business doing corporate shoots um, in offices. So we've been invited in by Concise Media, a media auditing firm in Soho, to shoot their whole team, uh, 14 staff, over the course of one day. And it's great to be working with a company like Concise who don't just want the normal box tone headshots, they work in the media auditing um, sector, which is traditionally fairly stuffy, but they've asked me to come in and do more of an editorial style shoot, so painted backdrops and sort of more moody lighting um, to help them stand out from the competition a bit more. So the one thing I can't do, obviously, is the traditional meet and greet and shaking hands and all that sort of thing, but apart from that, it's pretty much exactly as normal. Hello, Jude. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, thank you. Good, good. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you hate having your photograph taken? Uh, about 13 now. <laughs> 13, okay. Well, the first thing to say is you don't really have to do much. I and mean, people think, oh my God, I've got my photograph taken, I've got to do loads of things. But all you really got to do is just take some really basic direction and not worry too much about smiling. Or what it, my job is basically to capture you smiling if you do it naturally rather than say smile. So. so. So I haven't really had to change my approach at all because I work with people using mirroring techniques rather than physically moving them. So we're working well within the social distancing criteria anyway. That's perfect. Yeah, that's really, we're just really nice and relaxed. That's lovely. And just tilt your head very slightly that way. Yeah, exactly. That's really nice. It's kind of like you're sort of thinking about something. Yeah, like you're having a conversation. That's really lovely. And just bring the chin very slightly to your right. That's perfect there. Yeah. Chin down slightly. And again, just tilt the head very slightly that way. Gorgeous. And the other thing is, um, because I shoot tethered to a laptop, it means that I can show um, my subjects what we're doing and get them to approve their pictures on the day without them having to look at the back of my camera, which obviously compromises social distancing rules. It's actually been a really interesting learning experience because by putting all these social distancing measures into place, it meant that everyone arriving felt comfortable that we were doing the right thing, uh, it made the whole day a really enjoyable experience, not least because it was the first time the whole team had got together. Um, so they all went away having had, hopefully, uh, a really nice time seeing each other and also we got some great headshots. So all around it was a really good experience. So what do you think of the pictures, Kevin? Uh, absolutely delighted. Uh, I'm happy with mine. We put, uh, put them out to the team, we communicated them straight after uh, and everyone is happy. 30, 14 people, I think, we took in all, and everyone, big thumbs up. Well done, Fantastic. though. Fantastic, that's great. And I, I, I'm just interested how you felt about the process, because that's the first time that I've done a, a, a shoot indoors. How, how did you find it? Once we gave it the green light, once we were happy that we could conduct it in, safe, in a safe environment, it was flawless from start to end. Everyone was happy, everyone felt secure, and, then, and that's why I think we got the results. I think that's why you achieved what you did. Fantastic. And do you think we did enough in terms of, you know, social distancing and sanitising and that kind of thing? Oh, was Dave, everyone... Dave, we could have swam in hand sanitizer. <laughs> so to be honest with you, I think, again, I'll go back to your previous question. Yeah. Everyone felt really safe. And it, it was a positive day for me. And it was a positive day for our company. Really Fantastic. good day.